intriguing race, that's for sure. The Tote Sport Bowl Chase over three miles and a furlong. Let's have a look at the runners. One is Deep Purple in the colours of Paul Green. Paul Maloney aboard this uh, Peterborough Chase winner, who's a very handy horse on his day. Number two is the mighty Denman, ridden by Ruby Walsh. He's 19 pounds clear of his nearest rival on official ratings, but is he that far superior around this course? Number three is Follow the Plan, Tom Doyle. Of course, five stars from our panel of experts for Denman, but only one star for Follow the Plan. This time, four stars for Nakarat, Paddy Brennan, stable in form, winner in France yesterday, and expected to be blazing a trail. Five is Punchestowns, who's out to salvage his reputation after starting very promisingly. And his stable mate number six, Carol's Legacy, both trained by Nicky Henderson and A.P. McCoy. In this one, three stars for Carol's Legacy. And this is Price. Let's have a look again with John. Well, Claire, Denman is definitely the favourite, and he's very strong at five to four, seven to two, Nakarat, nine to two bar. But there's been a big bet. John, I've got to tell you, somebody's just gone into a William Hill <laughs> shop in Watford and had fifty thousand pound readies on Denman at five to four. Fifty thousand pound cash, William Hill in Watford. Good luck. Well, very interesting this race coming up, and tactically, Richard. Um, Ruby uh, with Denman, who's not a, really as, as much at home here as he is elsewhere. What's he going to do, do you think? As we said, the, the first thing, Jim, is to get him jumped off. And a couple of Hennessy's, he's been a bit uh, reluctant, hasn't he, at the well, start? Well, we'll have to watch that very, very closely, the start with him. But uh, Ruby be very well, well aware of that. Yeah, I say you just get him into a rhythm, uh, Jim, and then sort of, you know, hopefully get a decent lead off, off Nakarat. Deep Purple will probably be handy as, as well. Um, so I'd, I'd hope they'd make it a nice, nice, nice even pace for him, you know? Yeah, it'll be very, very interesting indeed. Uh, Punches Towns, uh, a horse who's, I think, out to salvage a bit of a reputation, very, very highly thought of, second to Big Bucks in a world hurdle, hasn't really looked comfortable over the big over, fences. Over fences, and last time, a bit short for him, two, two, two mile five, I think it was, at, at Kempton, and was left in front that, that day. But. Uh, Punchestown, a fine big horse. He's just he's had his problems, and you'd you'd hope that uh, he run better today. Now, here's uh, some bad news if you're uh, Jason Maguire. He's uh, got his arm in a sling there, but don't jump to conclusions. There's still two days to go here, but it doesn't look doesn't look great. No, Jim, um, your physios be straight on to, to start working on on Jason if it if it isn't broken. He'll probably have to you know go for X-rays first by the looks of it. There. Well, he know. stood down for the rest of the day, not surprisingly. Uh, but good luck to him in the battle to get fit for Bella Briggs on Saturday. Dan Skelton is the man leading Denman around, five to four favourite. Dan's the man you may have seen in tube stations uh, around London. Yeah. There he is. That's it, Making Denman, sure he's, on he's the off and running. He's Hi. off and running, setting off on this three miles, one furlong journey, and uh, heading up towards the first of uh, 19 fences. Nakarat leading to it, joined by uh, Deep Purple, and out jumped by him too. Carroll's Legacy settling third, Denman striding up into fourth, the inside. So he's heading out towards the second, an open ditch. They're followed then by Punches Towns, and uh, three lengths away then, as they head over that is the remaining runner follow the plan. So up the home straight the first time and towards fence number three. And Nakarat out in front here for Paddy Brennan. Leads by a length or so to Deep Purple. Paul Maloney the outside, settling second. Two away then is Denman. The tempo has slowed considerably. They're followed by Carroll's Legacy and Punches Towns, who's striding up in the centre. They're followed then by Follow the Plan as they've jumped three. And two, still another two circuits ahead of them. Deep Purple in front, but a reluctant leader, I'd say. On the outside, just inclined to take a tug from Nakarat, who's tucked away on the inside. And they're slowing to a crawl here. Ruby is taken to the outside, Demon to the outside here. And uh, if they don't clap on a bit more tempo, I'd say he's going to allow him to stride up and uh, worry these leaders. Carroll's Legacy in the centre. Punches down to the inside. A gap then to follow the plan. But Richard, no pace here. Pace, but um, Ruby just doesn't look 100% comfortable there at, at all, actually. You know, AP's gone past him on Carol's Crusader, and she's she's tanking a little bit. Uh, but hopefully he'll warm up and, and get into his stride a bit. He was very careful at 
the, the first ditch, the second fence, but uh, hopefully he'll just warm up to his job now. Well, this is the fifth coming up, and Deep Purple on the outside of Nakarat. In behind them in third, then Carroll's Legacy, followed by Punches Towns, and uh, then Denman, who is a little bit sticky at it. And on the inside, follow the plan as they come to this open ditch. The second of them in the race, number six overall. And Nakarat on the inside, first to rise from Deep Purple and Punches Towns and Carroll's Legacy. And Denman on the outside, Ruby just niggling a little bit there as they head now towards the seventh and follow the plan is last of the runners as they're heading now towards the exit from the back and Denman racing in snatches at this point as we see on the inside Nakarat just the leader from Deep Purple now Denman taking a bit more interest on the outside is looming up followed by Carroll's Legacy and Punches Towns and a gap then to follow the plan the cross fence coming up number eight Nakarat Deep Purple and Denman only a half length away then as they go to that one Jumps that OK, two or three away, then is Carroll's Legacy, punches Towns, and further back follow the plan, but he's striding out a bit better, the favourite now. Yep, coming back towards the stance now, Ruby's got him back on the bridle and uh, certainly a lot happier than he was going down to the first fence along the back straight. Um, yeah, be a lot happier. You see the old horse pricking his ears now. He looks a lot happier coming to the ninth, Denman, on the outside, lying in third position. But the leader, Nakarat, still from in second, Deep Purple. In third, then, is Denman, followed two lengths away by Carroll's Legacy as they come to the third open ditch. Further back, then, is Punches Towns. Carroll's Legacy jumped very high, and they're followed by Follow the Plan. So all the time heading up the home straight towards the one that'll be the last next time round. It's the 11th, and Nakarat, the grey on the inside. Half a length in front of Deep Purple. Two away then is Denman, who's up on the outside in third. A solid third, too, as they come to this one. Followed then by Carroll's Legacy, and he jumped that one like a stag, the favourite. Further back then is Punches Towns, and they're followed next by Follow the Plan. Yep, Nakarat popping away in front, not going mad. Paddy's just got enough restraint on him, but, uh, you know, it must be, must be happy enough. Deep Purple's popping away also. And you can see Ruby just niggling again. And I, I imagine this after the first circuit, to, that he would be off the bridle again going down the back. And you would hope that as soon as he turns back into the straight, fourth last, that he'll, he'll come back on the bridle. So eight fences left to jump in this Tote Sport Bowl chase. And Denman, the favourite, lying in fourth position. Ruby is now niggling away again, but he's back in the fight. As Nakarat on the inside is the leader, narrowly over that. And in second, Deep Purple. Jumping in third then on the outside, Denman a half length away. Then is Carroll's legacy as they head down towards the 13th. And now Denman striding a little bit closer in third. But Nakarat comes towards it, giving a bit more rain and jumped it magnificently. From in second, Deep Purple, third then is Carroll's Legacy. Now he starts to get to work on Denman. Wasn't happy with that as they come towards the fourth of five ditches now and Nakarak was spring-heeled at it. From in second, Deep Purple. In third then the outside, Denman. Coming back into the picture again from Carroll's Legacy, Punches Town as they come to the 15th and the leader jumped that one very well. And further back in the field then follow the plan who goes second last. That was the 15th now. They turn sharply left-handed going towards the cross fence, number 16, which is four out and Nakarat the grey just the leader from Denman who starts to loom up into second now being ridden along followed then in third by Carroll's legacy deep purple as they come to the cross fence and Nakarat was spring heeled again got about a length in the air there I reckon landed three in front of Denman he's working hard the favorite followed then by Carroll's legacy deep purple and they've kicked away but Nakarat has slipped the field coming into the home straight his three lengths clear now Denman and deep purple and then on the outside Carroll's legacy they come towards three out Nakarat five in front mistake by deep purple going into second Carroll's legacy Denman can't win they've got two left to jump now Nakarat has gone five, six in front. He absolutely flew that. He's got about uh, six or seven lengths clear now. From in second, Carroll's legacy. Follow the plan is a danger. And the further back then is Denman and Deep Purple. But can Nakarat hold on? Three lengths in front of Carroll's legacy. One left to jump. Nakarat is out in front, the grey. He comes towards the last now. And he, he jumps it magnificently. And he's home for all money, Nakarat. He's four lengths in front, striding up to the line now. A great performance. And Paddy Brennan and Tom George combining for a win.
with the game Nakarak. In second there, Carol's Legacy. Third is Follow the Plan. Followed then by Deep Purple. Denman only fifth. And Punches Towns, last of the six runners. The winner is number four, Nakarat, ridden by Paddy Brennan, seven to two. Second is number six, Carol's Legacy, A.P. McCoy. Third, number three, Follow the Plan, ridden by Tom Doyle. And fourth, number one, Deep Purple, ridden by Paul Maloney. Paddy Brennan, though, the winner there, and a very enterprising ride. A great ride by Paddy there. He's, he's dictated the pace, he hasn't gone too quick. And this is a front runner's track, Jim. You know, that's the important thing. He's been able to get a blow into this horse. He's had a, a win problem in the past. He's had that operator. Tom George has had that operated on. And uh, you've seen the horse back at his best today. And he's he's a decent, classy horse. He's, he's finished placed in King George's. He's won the racing post, Chase. Finished placed in that a couple of times. And uh, he's shown his class today. He certainly has. He was so good at some of those. Really spring-heeled. Six lengths and three and three quarter lengths were the distances. And Tom George, the winning trainer there in the background, what a proud man he is, as Nakarat has produced a career best here today to uh, get the money from Carroll's legacy, follow the plan. Denman never really happy, was he? He was running in snatches. Running in snatches as they came back on the bridle the first time back into the straight, but not happy again leaving going away from the stands and uh, the writing was on the wall pretty early jim yeah he's a magnificent horse denman but this is not his track and he was never really comfortable and you could say you know Cheltenham has definitely let you know left this mark on him it, you know he's run a fabulous race there again and they come back in great form but it's not until you actually run these horses again that you find that Cheltenham has really left its mark uh, it is very hard to do it, although our first two winners had both won there. But there's Denman. It is all about the different conditions, and, and on a track that is constantly turning, it definitely favours you if you're on a horse who's out in front, who's enjoying himself, and Nakarat did that. But, Mick, I know how impressed you were with the judgment of pace.